If General Mohozi was not Museveni's son, most likely he would either be in jail or he would be, yeah, he would be somewhere either in jail or under house arrest. Well, President Museveni has fired back at His Excellency Bobby Wine, the president of NUP, and his supporters who celebrated the death of General Eli Tumwine. UPDF has finally admitted that yes, some military officers have been involved in abductions. Yes, we are going to to We are going to We are going to Well, good morning. Thank you so much for subscribing to the Buzz UG. And in case you haven't, kindly subscribe and also tap on the bell for all the notifications. My name is Melads Milo, aka Fula. <music> Now, recently, the EU in Uganda, in a tweet, tasked government to release the nine students who were arrested at the EU head offices as they marched to deliver a petition in support of the halting of the East African oil pipeline project. However, the Buganda Road Magistrate Court yesterday denied to grant them bail and they were remanded to Luzira Maximum Prison. They have been charged with uh, common uses and uh, they'll be back in court next Monday after the Independence Day. Now, a few days after General Mohozi Kainerugaba caused a lot of diplomatic tensions between Uganda and her neighbor Kenya using his Twitter handle where he said that it could take his army just two weeks to capture Nairobi, President Museveni has apologized to the people of Kenya and the Ugandans who were hurt by the general statements. President Museveni said Mohozi Kainerugaba's statements do not represent the official position of the government of Uganda or the army and therefore Kenyans, including the president, should forgive Uganda for what went wrong. Now, in his own words, he said, I ask our Kenyan brothers and sisters to forgive us for tweets sent by General Mohozi, former commander of land forces here, regarding the election matters in that great country. It's not correct for public officers, be they civilian or military, to comment or interfere in any way in the internal affairs of brother countries. Well, that's one of the statements said by President Museveni in his apology. Now, different people, others, members of parliament, have weighed on President Museveni's apology. It's an opportunity for him to get reformed. It's what we're waiting for. It should be him to take the first step to apologize to the UPDF fraternity and to the country. And now you can apologize to the neighboring country. Because even us as a country, we are terribly embarrassed. On behalf of his son, Obakura Mutabaniwe, it doesn't make sense. Then Aliba Densu Vidanti Mutabaniwe Musajja Mukuru, Ye Aliba Dasoka Okwe Tonda, Ye Mwenyini. Then Ye Bigambo Biachitawe, Nebi Gobede Rebioli. If General Mohozi was not Museveni's son, most likely he would either be in jail, or he would be, yeah, he would be somewhere either in jail or under house arrest. Because we have had those cases of uh, General uh, Sejusa, uh, General Tumukunde, for lesser crimes, by the way. Because this is a guy who had spent almost more than a week or so rumbling on social media, uh, talking about countries in the region. I, I don't understand how that earns you a promotion. <laughs> There you go, different opinions right there coming in on President Museveni's apology. However, some people believe that this is just a game played by President Museveni and his son, Mohozi Kanerugaba. By the way, some people believe that the succession plan is secretly going on and uh, more is to be unveiled in the coming weeks or months. Well, that's according to some people in the public. <music> The UPDF spokesperson, Brigadier General Felix Kulaije, recently in a press conference admitted that yes, their military officers have committed mistakes, but the UPDF is not to blame for the individual conduct of its personnel. Kulaije called upon LOC1 leaders in villages to scrutinize these people before recommending them to join the army. 
but he promised that they are going to find a lasting solution on the issue of drones and abductions. Now, President Museveni has fired back at His Excellency Bobby Wine, the president of NUP, and his supporters who celebrated the death of Jeno Eli Tumwine. Museveni, through his social media platform, said Bobby Wine, in his message about the death of Jeno Eli Tumwine, became biblical, quoting dust to dust and warned everybody to be humble. But Museveni says that type of thinking is very shallow because we shall all die eventually. That therefore cannot be a matter for celebrating whether you like the person in question or not. Museveni says the relevant question should rather be what contribution have you made in life and what achievements have you attained in life. Well, finally, President Museveni says Bobby Wine and his supporters who celebrate when others die should be condemned or guided if they persist in their negativity. Well, there you go. President Museveni responding to Bobby Wine and his supporters. You can actually read the full statement on his Twitter handle. Otherwise, if you have any comment on these stories, the comment section is right there for you. And don't forget to subscribe in case you haven't and also tap on the bell for all the notifications. My name is Melads Milo, a.k.a. Fuller. It's a bye for now. Thank you. Audio Jungle.